Hi, welcome back to Crochet Creations. Today is episode number eight. I have three finished products, projects. I have four whips, <laughs> some of which you've seen before. And a bunch of stuff going on on the Facebook page, so grab a cup. I do have regular coffee, which is Folgers, and hazelnut today again. Um, boring. <laughs> it's Super Bowl Sunday, and um, so I wanted to get my video in before you get watching the game. Over on the Facebook page, we'll go right down the list and get everything done and over, and then on to the other stuff. Dropsy playing dropsy today. Okay, D stash Sunday from Christie's Closet. Last week I had three skeins of this inky, what was it called? Inky mix, Patan's Uplands. This was, uh, it's a beautiful, it's beautiful. Let's see. It was 50% wool, 50% acrylic, and it is five bulky. I had three skeins of that last week, and the winner was drawn, and her name is Aisha, and she has not claimed it yet. So if you hear your name on here, send me a message so you can claim your prize. I must have been in a blue mood when I was in the closet because <laughs> I picked out a skein for this week, this week's D stash, and it ended up being blue. <laughs> but it's not the same stuff. It's a this week's D stash is a skein of Line Brands jeans. This one's called Stonewash. And it's looking teal on there, and it is definitely not teal. It is blue, because there is a teal that they have. And to me, that looks teal, and it is blue. Blue stone wash. This yarn is... Lots of stuff on here. Four ply medium. 100% acrylic, 100 grams, 3.5 ounce skein, 246 yards, 225 meters. To win this, all you have to do is pop over to the Facebook page, send me a message you want to be in my group. We have almost 340 people already. And... Uh, Find the post under the announcements for this week's D-Stash and comment below. And next Sunday, a winner will be drawn for that. Today was also the day I picked uh, a winner for the January make-along. We're having hats, hats, and more hats. The winner for January was to get a skein of the new Lion Brand Basics basic stitch in the colorway gold heather which is this one this is also 100 percent acrylic yarn this is also 3.5 ounces 100 grams 185 yards it's a four ply medium the winner was drawn for january lots of hats um 30 i think 35 entries isn't that great <laughs> It's wonderful. Uh, the winner for this was Catherine Oaks. And it's funny because I did two separate drawings. This was Catherine Oaks, and I did another YouTube comment picker drawing from a video I did a while back of an unboxing to see who would win that. And you had to have a specific um comment and uh, the winner from that video was also Catherine Oaks so congratulations to Catherine Let, give me a message 
in the next week, let me know where to send your stuff. Okay, so now we go on to the February hats, hats, and more hats. A new post was put up for your February uh, hat posts to go on because it's very difficult with all of the entries to keep track. So it's easier if I do a different post for each month. But if you enter a hat into each month in December, there will be a bonus prize for a set of clover armor um, amor hooks um crochet hooks all the sizes from b to j or k i think it is it was 10 in the package so the skein of yarn to win to make a hat out of for february is red <laughs> of course it's red and it's a sparkle it's a Stitch Studio by Nicole in Sparkle. And this one's called Ruby Red. And the sparkles on here are not just gold. They are all colors. There's blue and pink and gold. It's really pretty. There you go. You can see it. This is a three light. It is 100% polyester. 388 yards, 345 meters, 140 grams, 4.9 ounces. Tumble dry, wash, regular, uh, regular wash. So that is a beautiful skein of yarn. To win that, you would pop over to my Facebook page, find the hats, hats, and more hats make along, and enter a hat that was made in February. The winner for this will be drawn at the end of the month. Okay, where are we? Oh, look at this. Oh, ha uh, Happy Scrappy Yarn Challenge. We have a, a co-hosting scrap yarn. We have a Facebook page. Christy Cook from T. Dottles and I are co-hosting a year-long make-along out of scraps. So, the winner for the January entries was chosen today, and it is Melissa Vosper. Melissa, if you have not found out yet, please pop on over to T-Dottles, give her an email, and claim your prize. Beautiful skeins, two or three skeins of, I think it's boucle. I'm not sure. I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> You got me. Anyway, I was I was looking at it, but I didn't look at the fiber content or anything because I didn't have to. <laughs> I didn't have to announce it. So let's see. Uh oh. I guess that's all of that. We'll, we're done with that. So my entries for for my January hats and hats ended up being ten hats, and my last hat that I made for January is made out of loops and threads impeccable and i believe i had started this last week and this yes i did and this is um 100 acrylic yarn i believe let me see for sure four ply medium no it's 97 percent acrylic and three percent other fibers which is your 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 tweed and it's funny because everybody that uses this loops and threads uh colorway they say brown tweed it's gray so the colorway is saying the tweed color not the yarn color <laughs> so i put gray brown tweed on my uh, on my listing Okay, so what I did with this one is I did a pattern out of a flyer that I got from AC Moore. And it came out with a brim that you fold up and you did it top down sideways. So you you do the it lengthwise and then you uh cinch it together at the end. And this is the first time I've ever done a hat like this. I think I told you last week. When you got up here, 
there was five stitches of slip stitch to make the top uh, circumference smaller than the bottom. So when you ended up cinching it, you had already had a decrease to the head. What a beautiful pattern it ended up being. Isn't that nice? Yeah, so that's my first one. That was my last January hat. There's 10 patterns that I did for January and they're all linked in the uh, challenge uh, make along. And so I started knitting. <laughs> I started knitting on Thursday last week and um, I I cannot believe <laughs> that I made a hat well okay so my first hat for February is a knitted hat I used this uh, yarn B five bulky beautiful so soft with a halo and um it is andy's alpaca the color is moonlit mesa isn't it gorgeous well let me tell you something it's easy to knit with it's absolutely so smooth that i could learn yes i made mistakes and i did not rip them out so my hat i finished it it's a dodgy hat <laughs> But look, it's beautiful. Now, this was supposed to be one by one ribbing, which I learned all these technique names, but I've forgotten half of them already. And I messed up somewhere, so half of it is really good, and the other half is not so good. But you know what? I don't care, because all my knitting part, where you did just knitting, it came out wonderful. And I still had 54 stitches when I got done. This is a bulky hat. And then um, she didn't have you, it's an easy hat, I link, I'm link. i linking it on my page and I'll link it below too. It's an easy hat by Be Hooked. And she, it, she teaches so easily. So she has you cinch it together at the end and look how nice it came out. How easy is that? And it fits me perfect. Absolutely perfect. And not only that, but it's so soft. It's so beautiful. I love it. Just love it. So, of course, a few of you sent me messages when you found out I was knitting and were, that you were saying, oh, you're going to love it and you're going to be hooked. You know what? I am. And you're right. I am hooked. I've already tried to start a few other things. Um, I will show you them also. One is to practice and the other one is because, just because. <laughs> so that hat is another finished product. Before I go on to my whips, I do have another finished object I want to show you. This one was made out of the Ferris wheel. I showed it last week as a, a work in progress. And it was ma it's made in evergreen. And Ferris wheel is a four ply. I used one whole skein of it and a third of another one. And so I get to put this in my box for a finished gain of yarn okay so how, where I got this pattern was out of the magazine um, crochet world magazine and it, and it was it's different but I'm just gonna pick it up and show you it's a pull over your head cowl it you make the um, collar first and then you start up and down and you join at the top every every row until you go all the way around and then you do not seam it. You actually leave it open and add buttons. These buttons can be undone. It is, it, I did end up putting button holes because they, they tell you to do that. So you can wear it unbuttoned, you can wear it half buttoned, or you can wear it all the way buttoned. It is adorable. I took some photos of it in different 
uh, ways, wearing it in different ways um, on my regular page. But this Ferris wheel comes out so soft. It's all done in single crochet. In uh, I never can remember what stitch it's. Stitches have names. I realize that, but I don't always go by the names. It's um, chain one, single crochet, chain one. When you go back through, you single crochet in the chain one. So it makes that pattern. And I don't really care what it's called, but I know all of you are going to tell me. <laughs> but I thought that came out really cute. So that's my other finished item for the week okay so that'll be in my Etsy shop oh I did forget one thing okay so that's all my finished items so I don't have to worry about that that's done the thing I forgot was I have a show and tell that I run in my Facebook page <coughs> and uh I decided to run the show and tell for three months and then give a prize and then run, run it for three months again and give a prize. And I had not chose or posted or announced the prize for the first three months of the year yet. So I'm going to do that now seeing I chose it. I put the picture up. Um, it is a kit that I had that I had in my stash from one of the Mary Maxim uh, club, monthly clubs. And it's for the uh, feather, uh, feather and fan um, pattern. So you get this pattern and you get the two skeins of croquet, one ply dainty thread that comes in the package. It didn't come with a hook this time. This uh, croquet is red heart, is 239 yards in this little tiny cake. And it is a one ply, it's 1.5 ounce. So what's it saying it is? I think this is 92% cotton. 5% polyester and 3% other fibers because if you look real close it has sparkle so your scarf is going to be dainty and lacy and sparkly it's going to be gorgeous so that is how you enter that is you put a make photo in my show and tell post on the announcements page on my Facebook group and you only need one entry for a three month period but if you put that one if you put multiple projects up it gets your name in multiple times so as many times as you put a project in there um but that it show and tell shouldn't be double double dipping with the hats <laughs> it should be other projects because i don't have any other make alongs going on at the moment okay so now what am i working on okay so i'm going to show you my my crocheted socks what i have up to now um i'm using the uh stroll tweed and these are crochet socks with a size E hook and I'm using the pattern out of one of the knit crates from last month and last time you saw them I was here and that's all I ended up doing is like three rows but that's because I was knitting and all the other other things but I did do a little bit so I but I like to show show what I'm doing on them because that that's important to me I don't know why it just is Okay, so what else do I have? I have two knitting projects in my horsey bag I got from Karen. Okay, so Karen and Connie. 
I decided I would use some scrap yarn up and tried to get another spa item done uh, out of the same yarn. I made a face cloth with this for the Happy Scrappy Yarn Challenge, and I thought I would do another face cloth, but only knit it. Knit it. So there is my half of my face cloth done. Looks pretty darn good, I think, for my first time. And it's almost done because I'm only doing a face cloth. But I can keep going, seeing that the challenge is over. Not that I was going to enter it, but anyway, what I was doing this for is for practice because I need practice. <laughs> I found that out. And I will tell you why I found that out because I got that yarn from AC Moore the other day. And my daughter was with me, and she said, oh my gosh, I like that. I said, you do? She goes, yeah, I like a scarf out of that. And I said, okay. I said, I'm going to try knitting it. Okay, she said. Well, <laughs> I picked a really easy scarf to, to do, but somehow or another, I started it. And somehow or another, every so many rows, I end up with an extra stitch. And it's probably going back from my, um, my pearl. Somehow I'm, I'm ending up with an extra stitch and it's putting me off. But you know what? I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to keep going. I, I got rid of the extra stitch somehow and I just kept, I'm just keep, going to keep going. And that way she'll have a scarf here soon. And it's it won't be perfect, but <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. But I keep dropping. It's just a rib. I mean, it's, a, it's not just a rib, but it's an easy, it's supposed to be easy. But I don't know why. But So I, so I need the practice um, on ribbing. That's for darn sure. And it's to be expected. So I have one more item to show you before I call it a day. And that is my new cowl that I just started today. And I started it so I could make work on something I didn't have to think about during the Super Bowl game. So I picked out this one lone skein I got from Style Crafts a couple months ago. And it has that beautiful sparkle and that gradient in it. And I picked a pattern from Fiber Flux that's very, very easy that I can just sit there and crochet during the game and I don't have to think about it. And if you'd like to do that with me, um, what I'm going to do is whoever makes one of these Fiber Flux cowls with me um i'm gonna start a page on my facebook page for makes from super bowl sunday and i don't care what yarn you use as long as it's the fiber flux pattern and it, and you did it with me i'm gonna give away um the other skein of style craft that i got in this uh it's, it's not the same color. It's a green one. I should have brought it out here. I, well, you know what happened. I just thought of it. <laughs> I didn't think of this before. But if anybody wants to do the cowl, I'm going to give you a couple weeks and I'll draw the winner on Valentine's Day. So if you want to join in on that cowl, we'll have... Uh, that's why I did mine red. But I will... Um, it's a cowl and it's on the fiber flux blog and or channel and I will link it below and you can join me in making this cowl for the next two weeks and on February 14th I'll draw a winner all right so I hope you have a great Sunday and enjoy the game and if you don't like football well then maybe you'll be watching movies or Netflix or something <laughs> All right, well, I hope everybody's having a great weekend. Um, I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.